we are two days away from opening day for the centennial season of the Cape Cod Baseball League. And your 2023 Falmouth Commodores are arriving to Gulf Fuller Field. Welcome to the first opening the door of the 2023 Falmouth Commodore season. I'm Destiny Sanchez alongside Matt Venezia and Zach Serdenik, and we're your broadcasting crew for the 2023 season. Now let's drive, dive right into it. A little recap of last season. The Commodores finished fourth in the Western Division. Zach, what did you notice about last season? Yeah, it was a slow start for Falmouth, but able to fight their way back and claw past Wareham, got hot late, really gave Bourne a run in that first round of the playoffs, just unable to get it done. Ended up falling 2-1 to one in that best of three series to the eventual champion Bourne Braves, trying to bounce back this year and see if they can continue that momentum they had at the end of last year. Now, although there will be some players that invi are invited to the USA baseball team, some that are still playing in the Supers, who are, what have you noticed about some of the players that are here right now on the Commodores? Well, that's the biggest thing, that we're still awaiting to see which guys are going to go on to Team USA. Obviously, Super Regionals are still going on, so the Commodores are expected to have 18 players here on opening day. Obviously, more are going to come throughout the summer, but one in particular that stands out to me is Ross Highfield. He was a freshman last year at Mississippi State, coming in as a freshman, the number 7th ranked catcher nationally. And this is a guy who came in, he was learning behind uh, Luke Hancock, who was a graduate student, played first base and caught a little bit at the beginning of that season. Before conference play got underway, Ross was the starting catcher for conference season, and he would take it the rest of the way. 36 games behind the dish for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And in that year, he hit 231, 28 RBI, so kind of shaky for the youngster, but that's expected in your rookie year. But the number that stands out to me, guys, a 521 slugging. This guy's got a bat. And he had some growing pains early on in his beginning parts of his collegiate career. Expect his bat to be a big part of what happens here at Gov Fuller Field and throughout the Cape the rest of the summer. Now over to the bullpen. I'm a firm believer that bullpens win ball games. What do you notice about the guys on the mound? Yeah, and on that pitching side, you go from a guy in Ross Ifill at a high level, high major SEC school at Mississippi State to a Juco guy in Isaac Tiger, who one has one of the best names on Cape Cod, without a doubt, but also can really back it up on the mound. Outstanding numbers at Butler College out in Kansas, transferring to the Kansas Jayhawks next year, but he also has some draft hopes. This guy can really pitch. Six complete games this year for Butler. Went on to have a strikeout to walk ratio, 121 Ks, just 29 walks. That command is outstanding. Good four pitch mix from him on the mound. If he can get those pitches and work against these high level hitters, that's going to give a big boost to that Commodore staff. We have a lot to look forward to for the 2023 season with a lot of accolades to come. Matt, what do you expect for the season coming into Saturday? Well, obviously everyone's talking about the Centennial. The Commodores are one of the four original teams here on Cape Cod. Coach Jeff Trundy, 10 wins away from 500 regular season wins. So we hope, fingers crossed, to see that accolade be accomplished at some point throughout this summer. But the other thing that have the Commodores going is the fact that last year, when you look at the numbers from this staff, on the pitching side, six most runs allowed. They were the second most teams given up in hits. And at the plate, they were driving in only the seventh most amount of runs. So the Commodores certainly are very capable of doing much better than that. So I would say the season floor for the Commodores, if they put up similar numbers, they're going to be contending for the three spot in the Western Division maybe barely sneak in at four. We talked about the Bourne Braves, the defending champs. They're in this division as well. So you got to expect they're going to have something to say about that with a ceiling of hopefully the Commodores bringing a Cape League championship back to Gov Fuller Field for the first time in over four decades. That's what we're hoping for. Somewhere in between those where I expect this year's Commodore staff uh, to finish up. I'm excited to watch the top college players in the nation here on Gov Fuller Field this Saturday um, for the opening day of the Cape Cod Baseball League season. There's a lot to look forward to. That's it for opening the door and we'll see you guys on Saturday.